Hello and welcome to another video from Ellensburg Amplifier Repair and Service. Uh, today it looks like I think this is a Team Pi board. I'm not quite sure what amplifier uh, this is. I think it's called a. Hold on, some weird, weird, weird make of this Busy B or something like that. Oh, oh B Busy, B Busy Audio. I have no idea. Never heard of it. Uh, but this looks like a team pie board just by the the uh, layout of the PCB the color of the PCB the securing of the components um, and the power supply transistors that were used were like the IRFP oh my gosh they're really odd 146 N40 or some crazy crazy transistor Hold on, I'm going to tell you if I can get one back here. Here we go. Sorry, they're, I, they're in the garbage. So the power supply, the original power supply transistors in this amp were the uh, IRFP 162 NO4s. What is that, guys? What uh, what is that? You try googling this and tell me what this transistor is. I mean, I know what it is. IRFP one sixty two N O four. Who uses that? Huh. Well, obviously, I'm assuming Team Pi does. And they had some really odd power supply drive transistors in here. Um, do I have an original? Yep, I sure do. So the original power supply uh, drive transistors were the oh gosh you can, I can't even see that the writings are so the writing's so small um, the H eighty three O or eighty eight three zero again no idea but I took my wise wisdom of amplifier repair knowledge and applied what I know. Uh, to this board that using parts that are readily available here domestically so I put the IRP 7530s in of course it already had 22 ohm gate drive resistors in place and it has a 1k pull down so I mean just the perfect setup for the 7530 is it overkill for this amp most likely the 7530 is overkill you probably could have got away with the 064s which other team pie boards used um, that's why I was, I'm wondering if this is team pie or not uh, but the other one that I reviewed team pie board that I reviewed uses the uh, 064s so I probably could have got away with using the 064s but I would have had to change the gate resistors and probably the pull down and I just didn't want to get that involved into redoing this PCB to be repairable here in the states using domestic parts okay enough rambling what's the problem so I got the thing rebuilt I did not pull this board out um, I did what I had to do to get it back up and running because I could not find what these transistors were so I don't know what their specifications were. So my goal was just to get it up and running and to see if I have any thermal runaway on anything or, or whatnot. But come to find out, I didn't have any output. It fires up, green light turns on, but I have no output. And I don't have any, any heat coming off the voltage regulators, which everyone that repairs amps knows the voltage regulators are going to get hot regardless. Just to show you on this particular board the voltage regulators here aren't even mounted to the heat to a heat sink they're not yeah not even cooled now the one that will get the hottest warmest is the one that's referenced to negative rail which I'm assuming is this one uh, I have not looked to see yeah 7815 7915 so this is your plus minus 15 and this is going to be your reference to negative rail that drives your uh, your output card here so that's gonna get hot which I'm glad they put a little heat sink on that but that's gonna saturate pretty quick 
Uh, so there's no heat here, which tells me I had no auxiliary power. And sure enough, if I come over here and check, let me get back to the power supply. If I check between the drain of the first set and the drain of the second set, I've got about four mega ohms, 3.4 mega ohms. The drain should be connected to 12 volts here. This, this set is, this is 12 volts, this is 12 volts, and this is 12 volts. It's connected. The power's not on, I'm just checking the resistance. But if I go to this set, eh, nothing, nothing. Zero, not a zilch, nothing. Um, yeah, I mean it is connected to the transformer, it is connected to the transformer, but I have nothing. This bar right here is 12 volts and this bar is 12 volts. I think that's the 12 volts that jumps over to power this transformer. And sure enough, on the bus bars, I have nothing. 3.3 mega ohms 3.3 mega ohms this thing is wide open the windings are good obviously but I have no 12 volts here so if you don't have 12 volts it has nothing to swing to so I'm gonna pull this board out and I'm gonna see what catastrophic failure we have of the PCB board itself which I do believe that is going to be the problem of this amplifier it is something drastic happened oh reverse no nope, not reverse polarity no nope. huh I am not sure what happened and that's why I'm pulling this board on camera not on camera I'm gonna stop the video and then pull the board and show you guys what happened uh, but just to let you know it was this bank was shorted this bank was not uh, the gate resistors were just fine here gate resistors were burnt here so this transformer had zero power when this amplifier failed so i'll get this board out let's see what happened to this be right back with you in just a second thanks guys all right i'm back took me about two minutes to pull all the screws in this thing to pull this board out uh, let's see here. So, yeah, let me make sure the thermal is free. Thermal, the thermistor. And let's, uh, there's no screws. Yeah, there's no screws that supports this board. Yeah, she'll come right out. Uh, let me make sure that what stuff here that's glued is, there it is. All right, what's the problem with this amp, guys? Oh my, be careful. You'll bend that board right in half. Let's see what we got. Ah, ha ha. With this nasty glare, sorry guys, sorry guys. Let me see if I can get rid of some of this glare for you. Yeah, it's because I have the camera. I have the camera pointed too far. Let's go like this. Sorry guys, sorry guys. I'm just gonna get rid of some of this glare here for you. Well, can we zoom in and see what's going on? Sure can. Well, it looks like what we have here is a failure to communicate. Oh man, this amplifier got so hot that it melted all the solder. Nice, nice. And here it is. There it is, guys. Whoo wee! Blew the trace wide open, and the solder literally started to flow off the board. Ah, wow, there's no solder left on the legs of this transformer and the, all the solder has pooled in one direction. This amplifier was actually mounted that way. 
Yeah, well, that would probably be the reason why I don't have 12 volts on this transformer. Because the 12 volts ends right here. Ends right here. So, well, it looks like I've got some trace repair to do on this. And then I think, uh, and then resolder these poor transformer legs that are wide open. And uh, I do believe this amplifier will come back to life. Yep. There it is, thin trace. Boy, that is some of the thinnest copper. Thin copper and the PCB is extremely thin. So, there it is, guys. If you don't have auxiliary power, check and make sure you have voltage to the transformer that creates that auxiliary power. So, yeah, I'll get this thing soldered back together. I use copper tape. Um, and then I solder over the copper tape, uh, which is going to be twice the amount of copper that OEM used. So uh, that's how I resolve traces, primary traces. I use copper tape. Yep. Yeah. So thanks, guys. I just wanted to show you what this was about and uh, what the problem is. So got any questions? Please feel free to Leave them down below. Let me get you guys back out in a normal view here. Uh, please feel free to leave your uh, comments down below. I mean, I take criticism every day, all day. And, uh, you know, as being a business owner, that's just the things you deal with. So, yeah, thanks, guys. We'll catch you on the next one.